up, y'all? It's your boy Nito, my D.A.K.A. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. With another HUD story. First, I want to say shout out to all the subscribers. Go into the comments and type, I just subscribed. I'm going to put you guys in my Friday video shout outs. Do that. Today's HUD story. What I don't see enough people talk about when they have their hood stories and story times is Pebble Beach. Now, what's Pebble Beach? If you are a kid from the inner city, you know what Pebble Beach is. The rooftop of any building in New York City where they got all the rocks and stuff like that where hopefully the alarm system doesn't work like it didn't work when I was growing up. And when you're not allowed to have women in your house, this is where you take the girls. Now, the type of girl that will allow you to take her to the roof to smash These are the type of girls that you're looking for when you're 14, 15, 16, and you just eager to get a nut off. We will find these girls. It seemed like it was real easier to pick up women back at this time, but being this age, it's because a lot of women were going through self-esteem issues or they were at an age where they really were seeking male validation. And at that time, I guess they felt like they could only do it through their bodies because Lord knows when I went to jail and came home at 20 years old, these chicks was all different. They was all ran through and they start talking about taking me out and all this other stuff. And it's like, dang, five years ago, you was letting everybody hit in the staircase. Staircase, side note. That's where you took all your chicks to, man. Staircase goes down. Some of the best sex I've ever had in my life was in the staircase, in the Browns, 161 Morrisania, 8th floor, west side. It happened a lot, and I wasn't the only one. You could be randomly in the staircase and catch somebody getting the top catch somebody smashing something, you may or may not be able to join in. Like, and this was going down with consent, of course. Consent all time, all times. We don't do the rape thing on this channel. We don't do it. But um, I remember being very young and I don't even remember whose idea was it to start taking girls up to Pebble Beach, slash the rooftop, but it seemed like it was always a hood tradition. Um, I remember being on the roof, running around, being mischievous, throwing rocks off, off the roof, on top of people's cars and windshields and running off and disappearing by the time the cops came or people came to find out who was throwing rocks and stuff like that. I remember being younger and, and running around on the roof and seeing the older dudes running trains on older chicks just in the roof like it was it, it seemed like they passed the torch down to us but I remember many 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 times being on the roof getting some type of top uh I remember one time one of my friends got real 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 um high when he first started smoking weed and he was running around from east side to west side of the building, um, naked with just his sneakers on. We were so lit that we had one or two girls all the way on the east side and one or two, one or two girls all the way on the west side. And with their consent, dudes was having their way with them. I mean, um, you find out real young in the inner city how wetter the girl could be. I mean, I remember being either on the roof or the eighth floor staircase. And I was so young that I thought when you hit a girl from the back that you were supposed to put it in her rectum. 
I remember doing this to this girl who couldn't have been more than two or three years older than me. She bent it over for me. She spread it for me. I did. I was. I was so young and so not used to sex. I didn't know that you could still put it in the vagina from the back. I put it in her rectum. And she just let me do it, which means that this girl was used to this. You know what I'm saying? Like she was moaning and stuff like that. I finished very quickly because I was basically a one headed quitter at that time. I just started. But um, she liked it and she was feeling it. And I found out later on that the vagina is right under that. Like you were supposed to go straight in there. But I'm like, she didn't tell me nothing. She just let me do it. I remember many, 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 many times just having fun on Pebble Beach. I remember being with my friends on se several occasions, going up to the rooftop at night, trying off guns that we had no business having, just letting off a couple shots on the roof for no reason, just getting a feel for a pistol. Pebble Beach is a very pivotal part of the lives of a lot of inner city kids. Like a lot of people lose their virginity on the roof of their building or in the staircase of their building. You know, like it happens a lot. Like I remember even being younger and you on the roof or you at the top of the staircase. I remember seeing fiends shooting up more than once. I remember a whole lot of things that I'm not even going to speak of, like as far as like the details of me finding drugs and stuff like that. Um, A lot happens on the rooftop of your average inner city building where black people are free to roam. Like, but I would say that it was all a part of my development as a man. And I will also say that parents, when your kids start having sex, you might want to consider allowing them to do their thing in your house, depending on their level of maturity and how good they're doing in school. So you could at least do it in a controlled environment, make sure they have protection and all type of stuff like that. Because we was wowing. We was wowing. But you know, that's a hood story for your ass, man. Pebble Beach. AKA the rooftop. Like, share, comment, subscribe. We out.